1968, approximately within an hour. An hour, the motor's Four. getting delivered here at 7205. Yes. Okay, you too. Bye-bye. Let's go. Boys, let's go. The motor's getting dropped off. Let's fucking go, baby. Let's go. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. I know it's been so long. It's literally been, what, six months now since I picked up the camera. And I'm not gonna lie, this is the most excited I've ever been to film a video, to pick up the camera. You guys just heard, my new motor is finally gonna be here after literally six months of this thing sitting on jack stands. So the GTR rebuild is finally happening. And I literally don't think I've ever been this excited for anything car related. I mean, getting her was such a overwhelming, exciting experience, because like, you know, like some of you guys, GTR is probably your dream car. Buying it was so cool, but it was so rough when I bought it that it was hard to be as excited as I am now, because like, now it's literally gonna be perfect. And I told you guys, I think in the last video that I filmed that I was focusing heavily on my business and instead of dumping the money into this thing, I put it into my business and I'm really happy to say, my business is absolutely killing it. I'm making the most amount of money that I've ever made in my entire life and it's super cool in six months, I've literally built a massive business. So. I can comfortably afford to get this thing back on the road and I'm doing it exactly how I want and she's gonna be freaking perfect and it's gonna absolutely rip. So I'm so excited to be making videos again. I miss you guys. I hope all of you guys are doing well. All right, and I wanted to give you guys a little backstory on how I found this motor, because it's taken me six months. It's been near impossible to try and find a motor, but I finally found one from a legit company, and I'm literally just so stoked, because just like everything in my life, I found a super good deal on it, and I'm really, really praying that it all works out. All right, so I figured I'd give you guys a little backstory on how I found this motor. So. You go on eBay, you see there's a couple drop-in long box and I've posted screenshots before. They're usually anywhere from like 12 to 15 grand depending on the year, mileage, condition, what all it comes with. So every single morning I go, I grab my coffee, I go down, I get on eBay, I get on Google and I type in VR38 or I type in GTR motor for sale and I think it was about two weeks ago I got on, I typed in GTR motor on eBay because I'm always searching, always hunting for a motor and I typed it in and this listing pops up and it says $8,999. It says VR38 DETT for sale. It said 52K miles, but it said read description. So I click on it, I read the description, and it says the timing cover is damaged. And I said, hmm, you know, your boy has a timing cover and it's ready to go. Well, almost ready to go. So I called the company, I, I, like, I scroll down, I see who's selling it. It says it's Pacific Motors, and it's this company in Detroit, Michigan, and they sell like really high-end motors so like I guess GTRs I saw they had like McLaren parts for sale so this is like a legit company so I call the dude and I say hey I want this motor I said it's mine don't sell it mark it sold I'll transfer you the money and so immediately he marks it sold on eBay or he like deletes the listing um, I wire him the money and now the motor's mine so I got a pretty low mile okay I shouldn't say low mile because like I feel like low mile is like 20k or 10k whatever but compared to this thing, she had 92K miles on a motor that was not taken care of, and I got a long block complete for nine grand. So I figured I was like nine grand for a long block. I was getting ready to spend like 11 or 12. That left me a little bit of money for some turbos. So I'm not gonna tell you guys what I got, but I've got some bigger turbos coming, and it's gonna be so sick, and I literally am just so excited. Like, this is my baby, this is my dream car, and I've, I, I, my whole life has revolved around this thing and getting her back on the road and grinding my ass off with my business and spending every dime I make like literally my clothes are falling apart I've like been cheap on groceries like every single penny I make from the business goes right back into the business and pulling the money out for this thing was probably not the smartest thing as of right now but I have it the deal popped up and it was literally just meant to be she's coming back and I'm so excited to be making videos for you guys again. I miss you guys, I miss making videos. This has been like my passion project and I'm really, really excited to rebuild this car. I'm a little nervous because yeah, it's expensive. It's a lot of money. 
and and yep she still sits right here she is the dustiest dirtiest she has ever been and I'm, I'm not gonna lie i'm pretty anxious for this thing to show up so i'm just gonna stand outside until hopefully a big truck pulls up and then we got to figure out how to get this thing out of the truck in here and then the fun stuff begins let's go baby i'm literally so excited my dream car is coming back the gtr is coming back like look at how dirty this thing is look at that oh okay i'm not even kidding guys i literally just shut off the camera i got a call from the dude with the motor and he's two minutes away from here he's like dude i'm just chilling at the 7-eleven he's like are you home can i drop this thing off i'm like bro let's go bring it to me baby he's gonna drop it off he said he has a pallet jack and we're literally just gonna throw it in the garage so literally my new motor is here it's fucking here boys it's fucking here baby let's go i'm so excited for my new motor let's go it's coming it's gonna be here it's gonna be in the flesh your boy's about to have a gtr back on the fucking road i don't think you guys know how hard i've worked for this thing i swear every gtr owner has like millions of dollars or something because yeah everybody's just balling out on these like 30 40 thousand dollar motors that ain't your boy i'm out here trying to get a deal and i got one so let's go <laughs> okay i'm i'm gonna set the camera down for a sec i'm gonna take this all in but yeah i'm filming the whole thing don't worry don't worry you guys will see everything My motor's on that truck, baby. What's up, man? What's up, dude? How you doing? I'm like a little kid on Christmas. <laughs> Where's it going? In that bad boy? Well, boys, after six months, my new used motor is here. Holy <laughs> shit. This is so crazy. My GTR is about to be back on the road. So you guys can see these numbers right here. She compression tested just fine. 180, 170, 175, 175. 180 and 170 now like i said this is a complete motor i don't have to do anything but bolt my turbos on slap the intake manifold on injectors and she's ready to go so this is insanely exciting but there is one small issue with this motor all right so if you guys can see that down there it is marked it was in the photos the timing cover is slightly broken right there so it's not a big deal i still have my timing cover that i'm going to slap on this thing but we do have to fix her before we put it in the car. All right, boys, so it is the next day. Honestly, I'm a little bit nervous, really freaking excited. And I guess the next step is to get this thing uncrated and jack this motor up and start getting things attached. It's just, I'm a little overwhelmed, I'm not gonna lie, because it's a lot more work than I anticipated. They literally pretty much stripped this thing basically bare. The oil filter housing, the front diff, pretty much everything. So it's basically a bare long block, which is the only thing I needed. It's just gonna be a lot more work than I anticipated. Let's, let's get to cranking. I'm gonna get my engine hoist out. I think I'm gonna hoist this thing up and then I'm gonna put the bell housing on, Turbos get here tomorrow. You know, I'm only slightly nervous, but it's gonna be good. I'm trying to enjoy the journey. I'm trying to remember that like, hey, one thing at a time, one step at a time. Let's get this thing unboxed. Boom!
only slightly sketchy. PR38, baby! Here is the motor. You guys can get a little bit of a better look at it. This thing was compression tested and compression tested good. And then you guys can probably see there's a lot of oil residue right here. I think it's because they, they took the oil filter housing off and just left this. So I'm sure just like residual oil came out of there. Not a big deal. At first when I saw that, I was like, shit, there's an oil leak. If you guys don't know, there's two different oil pans on these things. And if this seal goes bad, I mean, you literally have to disassemble the entire motor, which would absolutely suck. Other than that, this thing looks mint. It's out of a 2010, so it's got 52,000 miles on it. She should be good for the rest of the life of this car. Pretty low miles for the year. All right, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm not 100% certain what to do right here. So you guys can see this is broken. They marked it in the photos, and I think that's why I got such a good deal on it. Now, I've been prepping my old timing cover over there to swap onto this thing. I don't want to cut any corners with this build, but I don't know how important that is. I mean, it's not even a place that seals. I think it's just the alternator bracket. So would you guys replace it? I have a timing cover ready to go. You guys can see this thing is literally all ready to go. I just need to wash it now, but I got the gasket surface pretty much dialed, ready to go. She's a heavy girl. current setup it took a little bit of finagling I literally had to lift the motor a little bit to get it over far enough so I could get the engine hoist on there but I used the intake manifold bolt holes and I forget what bolts I use but it should lift this thing no problem let's get this thing jacked up and then I'll figure out how to get the belt housing on This should theoretically work, right? I, f I don't see why not. Wait, 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 wait. I have an idea. Put that back there. That's gonna hold the butt. Redneck engineering. Hear me out, boys, hear me out. I think we're on to something. Yeah, yeah. Hold on. We'll offer more protection for the pan. Oh. Right there, babe. Yeah, I'm a trained professional. And then once we get the bell housing on, we should be able to, yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna work. I like this. I like this a lot. red loctite not sure if it's required but that's that's what I'm using we're just gonna we're gonna go for it
it is now time to try and throw the bell housing on. I've heard it's kind of annoying to stab on there, but these are all torqued down to spec. I put a little bit of Loctite on them, so hopefully they don't back out. Oh, not too shabby, seems like. She's on. And now we have a bag of bolts, and we hope that I remember where all of these go. <laughs> Probably not. All right, we got the cover. Oh, shit. that was so much easier than I thought it was going to be. Got the damper plate on, we got the bell housing back on, all the bolts in the right spot. Starter is on, motor mounts going on real quick. Zip this bad boy on. I want to say 14, yep. Oh, 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 Riley, dude, I suck. Important. So I had to run to O'Reilly's real quick to get a tap and die kit because the motor mount holes, the threads just like weren't threading correctly. So I re-threaded all four of them. So now I'm gonna put this motor mount on and then we gotta go ahead and get the front diff on. We gotta still do turbos. We're cranking through this. So day one, not bad. I'm like not the fastest, but not the slowest. Let's get it. Hopefully this motor mount goes on now. It should though, it, sh it should be fine. All right, boys, so what I think I'm gonna do next is probably throw the front diff on, front diff with the axle, and then get that all bolted up. Yeah, I say we do that. Then I'm gonna get the oil filter housing done, and yeah, we'll be good. But I need to clean the oil filter housing from the last motor, so I need to disassemble that. I got a new oil pressure sensor coming because I was advised to do that. But yeah, let's see if we can get that front diff thrown on. I like that, I like that idea. So I even put everything in bags so that way I know like when the front diff goes on I have all the bolts right here easy peasy, baby. She's a heavy girl Let's go, okay now I need to find bolts for this right here and hopefully I didn't just destroy the axle we're gonna hope and pray boys look what I found I don't know if you can read that but it says backside of front diff so I wasn't missing any bolts let's go let's get these installed I'm gonna jack the motor up a little bit more and we should be good hey man sometimes you just gotta hit it from the back you know what I'm saying <laughs> shit oh like a glove oh ding wobbly socket for the W I don't have a lot of tools, but like, it's kind of nice when you have, you know, at least some of the tools you need. I'm gonna be a Harbor Freight guy till the end of time, but like, it's cool. Dude, whoever sealed this oil pan did like, 
a pound of RTV. I think, honestly, I might redo it because it looks so terrible. I'm like praying it didn't clog anything because that is a shit ton of RTV. Wait till you guys see this. We have an extra bolt and I don't know what it's for. Not gonna lie to you guys, but everything looks like it's attached. I think we're good. Like, I think it's pretty solid. I'm doing the things. I'm not great at it, but like, I'm doing it. I'm not gonna lie to you, I am pretty beat. I know I didn't like do that much, but I'm actually pretty stoked with the progress we made. We got the front diff on, both motor mounts, we got the, and we got the whole entire bell housing on, and I'm honestly pretty impressed and just enjoying this, so. You guys will have to let me know, do I fix the timing cover? Do I leave it? I really don't think it's that big of a deal because there's so many mount holes, like, it's not gonna not seal right there, so I don't think it's the biggest deal in the world. You guys will have to let me know what you think because it's gonna be a lot of work to reseal it. Like, the motor mount, the front diff, everything is super dirty on this car, and I hope you guys know, this is gonna be part one to a lot of different builds. Like, this car is gonna stay with me hopefully forever. I don't ever plan on getting rid of it. I'd love for this to be like my full bolt-on plus build, and then at some point, once I have a shop, kind of my next goal for uh, this year, I would love to strip this thing back apart and build this motor. So that's kind of the plan, that is my goal. So this is just like step two of the build, getting her back on the road, enjoying her for the summer, and then we can pull this thing back apart and we can build her and go massive turbos. So pretty stoked with today. She is looking pretty good, pretty put together. Still so far to go. Turbos get here tomorrow, but we're making progress and she'll be back in the car before I know it. I'll either catch you guys tomorrow or in the next video, but I hope you guys are excited for this car to come back. I'm so excited to be rebuilding it. I know it's not gonna be like a full motor build, but she's gonna be back on the road and I can't wait. Welcome back. Hope you guys are all doing good and I'll see you guys tomorrow or in the next video. Peace.